Hello and welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and I was just sitting here sipping my coffee and enjoying the new layout that we just did in this room. And of course, what do we all do? I uh, picked up my phone, I started checking my emails and I just got the most <laughs> Amazing, amazing email. I cannot believe this is even happening. Okay, RH Contemporary just released. I cannot even believe it. So I thought maybe we'd take just a second. I gotta be honest with you. I already clicked on this. <laughs> <laughs> I already started to look through the new source book and I've already called to find out if it will be coming to my local store, which sadly it will not be. So it's only right now, apparently in the San Francisco showroom. Next will be New York. Apparently they're saying it's gonna be at least six months before it's even in New York. So I just thought maybe we could have a really fun chat. We could just thumb through this digital source book and I really, 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 really hope that they send this out to everybody because I want a hard copy of this for sure. I have all of the source books they've ever done and even though I have them, I still feel compelled when I'm in the store to still pick up another one because I just love RH, I absolutely love it. So many of us know it as Restoration Hardware and they've rebranded themselves to the RH. They've got the classic collection, they've got their modern collection, they've got their kids and their teen, and now they have a contemporary collection. So I thought it'd be really fun to sit and chit chat about what it is that is coming to this collection, what we can expect, and uh, the coolest part I think is that a lot of the trends that we've been talking about, you're gonna see some of that in here and I am just, I can't stop smiling, I'm so excited. I'm so excited! So, okay, make sure you hit subscribe and uh, give the video a thumbs up because my husband actually was like, should we just go to San Francisco? And I'm like, yes! <laughs> so we are actually thinking about booking a trip just to go visit this, so make sure you hit subscribe and let us know down in the comments if you think we should just hop on a plane and go to San Francisco and go check it out in person. But until then, let's look through it together and see what they've got. Oh, this is so exciting. First of all, the thing that I noticed straight away was if you guys have been subscribers for a while, you've been watching our trend videos, you know we've been talking about the fact that brown and beige were gonna be the two colors that we were gonna start seeing everywhere. And lo and behold, the cover of this is in the browns and in the beige shades and I'm freaking out. <laughs> Look at that, it's even here, literally on our age. I'm so excited. I love the fact they call themselves a lifestyle brand and uh, the cover photo of their team, they're all wearing shades of brown and beige, and I think that's awesome. Then we get to the Cortona sofa. If you guys have this, you can actually, I'll put a link down in the description, so you can actually click the link to get to look at this with me if you want it in your hand as well. Um, but I'm gonna put flash pictures up so you don't have to look at me looking at my phone. But I'll flash pictures up of each of these as we go along. So first of all, we have the Cortona sofa. Oh my gosh, I adore this sofa. I love that square arm. I love how deep and wide that, that square arm is. I love the detail across the bottom. I love it in this color that they have it in. I love the room itself. Can we just have a conversation about that room? Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. And this really excites me because I think in the luxury homes, we're going to start seeing a lot more wood coming back to the walls, to the ceiling, and really being a material that we use a lot more. And here is just, here's why. Because it looks incredible. And I think about the old judges paneling that was in so many homes, and people have stopped doing that kind of stuff. I think we're gonna start seeing it come back. It looks beautiful, tone on tone. They really are, in a way, actually doing more of a monochrome look. They just don't have black as the main color. Here, they're using brown as the main color. The, the table in there, oh my goodness, it is gorgeous. Vitolo carved Italian travertine coffee table. Ooh, you better become a member because uh, the, the regular pricing is $10,000. That's a, that's a steep price. 
I do have a travertine coffee table that I bought for my sunroom from a company called Firm Living, and it was significantly less than this. So there are other options out there. So don't don't focus on the price because it, it it freaked me out a little bit when I started looking at the prices, but look at the overall style because you can always take from this and be inspired and find somewhere else to be able to create these looks. Maybe we'll do that on a different video, but for today, we're just gonna enjoy looking through it. I love the brass accents in there. I love the brass lamps, the brass overhead light. It's beautiful. Again, playing tone on tone. They went with a lighter ceiling. I'm not sure if that's white, but it's probably a light, creamy white that really just reflects back into that floor. It's gorgeous. The chairs in there are stunning. That is the Tate chair. They've done it in burnt caramel Italian merino wool. Oh no, they, that's velvet in there. Oh, oh. Can I please just go sit in this room with my coffee? I promise not to spill anything. <laughs> I just love it. I love the console table. I just love this room. I want to go sit in it. You've got another version of that coffee table and the sofa. That's what I love about restoration hardware is I flipped the page in case you're looking through with me. Um, I love the fact that they give you different configurations. You'll have the same sofa, but available in all the different ways that you need to customize it. I like the fact that they've balanced all of this brown with an art piece that's a lot lighter. I think it just helps it from feeling heavy. They've got their Made in Italy team, which is pretty amazing. They're showing how it's handcrafted. I am a fan. And if you've seen, look at the bedroom. Look at the bedroom. I love this. I love this bed. Look at how they, how did, how many people did it take to steam and iron that bed to that perfection? I mean, let's be honest. That's not totally, <laughs> that's not realistic. <laughs> But you know what? That's goals. It's goals. It's beautiful. I love the RH linens. They are always spectacular. I've never bought a single linen from them that wasn't worth every last cent. They're always just incredible. I love the travertine side tables you're seeing again with the brass. And then you get a little peek of the chair actually that's in there. That is the Ines open back chair. And I Love that chair. We're gonna see it more in just a second, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It really, I feel like they've really taken a very classic approach to contemporary design. This is everything that I want in furniture right now. It's, it's everything. This is what I'm looking for. Let me know down in the comments if you are just a, as excited as I am. You've got more of the travertine. Now we get to see that chair also done in the dining chair and then the travertine done with the dining room. And you can see how you could literally take this entire palette throughout your, throughout your house and throughout your spaces and it would be extraordinary. I even love how they've got the pedestal off in the corner and the little sculpture. I think it's breathtaking. You know what's also interesting is that the, the doors are wood. I think that's also an interesting point because we've had a lot of wood, painted wood doors for a really long time. And we're starting to see just where people are just kind of tired of it and they want something made of wood or iron and they're looking for a little bit more of an elevated material and I think they've nailed it. Then they've got the La Paz handwoven wicker collection. This is such a beautiful collection. I love how they're taking those browns right outside but they still feel light and airy. I love the fact that they've done a really light color. I'm actually getting ready to do something similar to my own backyard. And it is done in kind of a white, almost like a slight brown undertone white. And this is what I've been looking for. This is what I am trying, if I can ever get my painter over here, to do to my own house. I love that entire collection. I think it's beautiful. That travertine dresser and side table may be one of the prettiest things I've ever seen. And um, it's not cheap. <laughs> And when I showed this to my husband earlier, he was like, if their piece is made of wood, weigh as much as they do. How much are their pieces made of travertine weigh? And I was like, good point. You like literally make them move it in and it doesn't go anywhere afterwards. But I do feel like you're really getting the sense of that sort of classic restoration hardware feel, but they're really giving you some contemporary pieces that are gorgeous. This is a room that also has white walls. So if you're not wanting to do a lot of brown, I feel like you could still go with a nice creamy white tone on your walls. I think it's interesting that they've got all this brass 
lots of brass. They're really not even showing us another tone. And this entire collection is breathtaking. Again, just taking us room by room with that collection and showing us how gorgeous your entire house is going to be. And you're gonna want the whole thing. The Lotus Sofa. The Lotus Sofa is, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. That table and that sofa are quite possibly one of my favorite things I've ever seen. I, I mean, honestly, what? That is beautiful. I love that. I think the rounded shape on it, it's so contemporary, but it doesn't feel like it's here today and gone tomorrow. And I feel like a lot of times contemporary design can feel like that. And I think a lot of people think of contemporary design like Miami Vice. <laughs> that's where the word kind of became more popularized. And so a lot of people think that that's what contemporary is. But contemporary design is really all about facing the future rather than facing backwards and wanting to try something that's never been tried before. And I think shapes like this are incredible. I am freaking out over the Scala chair. First of all, can we just have a conversation about the colors themselves? That light, creamy, white color. You've got the caramel color down the center and then that rich mocha. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. That's it. I can die of happiness. This is so good. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait, don't die yet. <laughs> We have the stone of the eternal city that we have to look at in Rome. And I can tell you, I've been there and that is exactly what it looks like. And this collection is amazing. I mean, they're literally showing it to you being hand cut by a master artisan. This, this is just unbelievable. This is just next level. And we're only on page 70. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <gasps> that bed, see, I stopped. I haven't seen the rest of this, so you're gonna experience it with me. Okay, the bed, the lotus, is that the lotus collection? Oh my gosh, it comes in a bed. Look at how they dressed that bed. I mean, you can just go through this and get ideas. I'm literally gonna go refix my bed. I'm gonna go to my room and refix how my bed is fixed after seeing this because I am in love. This is so pretty, it's so warm, it's so inviting. You've got the dining set from that same collection, you've got the dining chairs, those same colors. Ooh, and now we've got the Alaro and hand-wrapped cord. Again, they're playing with the same materials, but they're really just giving us so many different options. I love the rounded shape. That's another trend that we've been talking about so much. We're gonna see brown, we're gonna be seeing beige, we're gonna be seeing wood, we're gonna be seeing round, and here it's happening. Thank you, Restoration Hardware. I love it. The Mateo sofa, wow. <gasps> that is, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. I will say that the cabinets with the mirrors, that is classic restoration hardware. I feel like maybe that's a little too traditional for me. I don't like it when it starts to feel too symmetrical. I think personally, I would have just done the one to the right without a mirror above, but maybe like a bigger vase or something and given myself a little asymmetry in that space, but they didn't ask me. So that's just me personalizing it, which is what you should do as you look through these photos. Think about what would work for your space. Think about maybe one or two pieces that could transform things that you already have, or if you wanna just start over, how could you incorporate pieces like this? They've also got the Mateo in the bedroom. I will have to tell you, I, I don't know that I am as much of a fan of the I'd have to see the burled. I'd have to see the burled. I'm, I'm not so sure whether I would like that or not. I, I would have to see that in person. It's a little bit busier and I'm not sure that I would personally love that. However, I do like the big bolster that they have on the bed behind the pillows. I think that is so pretty. More sculpture, more, more art. Oh, the pedra and brass and alabaster. We've been talking about alabaster too here. It's like they just know what we want. Ah, I love it. Wow, that chandelier is spectacular. And then you've got the next page where they've done it with two of them. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And then they've got the cabinet decked out. I love how in the photos that they always like bring the chair into the, into the set, you know? It's like you can see how they set design the entire space. And when you go to set your own room, you probably wouldn't want the chair sitting in front of the dresser like here because then you can't open the dresser. But I think sometimes you have to look through these catalogs and think about what, what pieces here and the layouts that they have will actually work in your own space. 
The sculptural sofa, oh my gosh. Wow, I mean, look at the ceiling in that space. This dark, rich wood like this, this gets me so excited. I love that dark, rich wood like that. That's still interesting because that is the Burl collection, but I do like it so much better in the dark. And the sculptural, oh, the bed and everything is just beautiful. The Etoile hand-carved alabaster light. What? Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. I'm amazed. Anybody else amazed? Anybody else already a fan? Yeah, maybe we really do need to make that trip to San Francisco. I want to see this in person. Wow. Oh my goodness. The castle antique is beautiful. I love those wood tones again. Wow. I'm going to need a pool just so I can have the chairs. Now we're getting to the Vitolo carved Italian marble. Now this feels to me a little bit more classic restoration hardware. However, we've got all those round shapes. I, I would ab, there is not a single one of these rooms that I just wouldn't absolutely love. I love how they're taking a lot of the same shapes and reintroducing it through different materials. That's really lovely. And then we've got the Copenhagen collection. This actually looks a lot like one of my favorite Danish brands, which is called Gooby. And I've been a fan of that company literally for just years and we have some chairs from them and it's amazing this i feel like it's not it's definitely not a copy of what they make but definitely inspired by and i just really love that i think the bedroom set the dining room with that marble you guys tell me which do you like better marble or the travertine mm, maybe we'll have one in one room and one in the other room <laughs> let's have both how about that that is just gorgeous i am just dying did you see that dining table? Oh my word, the Strata dining collection. How do they even like shape the marble like that? Now we're getting to Oslo. I love the fact that we're moving around Scandinavia here. We've got the Oslo and aged oak. Drop the phone, forget the mic. <laughs> wow, that is a spectacular room and it's using another thing that we've talked about as a trend to be on the lookout for and that's lime wash. Lime washed walls. Wow, there you go. And I'm sure they're gonna tell us what the chandelier is in just a moment, but look at the art. Look at the light colors. Look at that plaster kind of look. That, oh, there we go, the Sen in matte plaster. There you go, <laughs> I hadn't even gotten to it yet. A plaster light, wow. I mean, that's very similar to what I have back here with this limestone. It gives you that kind of effect and it's sort of, just this sort of rawness to it and this sort of tactileness. It's so elegant, it's so sophisticated. I'm freaking out. I want all of this. I don't know if I would be able to choose. There's so many beautiful options in here. I would literally just be in turmoil. The channeled look of the Burano collection is gorgeous. I don't know that I like it as much in like that suede sort of material, but I think I would go for that in velvet myself. Fulcrum and solid brass. Guys, this is amazing. We're on page 214. We have another 100 pages to go. And this is what's blowing my mind is that they did not just come out with one little collection. They came out with literally an entirely new collection. Like this is more stuff than a lot of furniture stores have altogether. And here they've just like gone for it. It's unbelievable. The ancient uh, looms, art of ancient looms. Wow. This is incredible. I love the way that they bring in other cultures and those handmade crafts like that. Really just celebrating the best artisans around the world. It, it really is just absolutely breathtaking and spectacular. This room has a little bit of that sort of like Kenya, African safari kind of feel. I, I just think it's just beautiful. I've always been partial to that because I've lived in Africa and I've always, I'd always wanted to live there when I was a kid. So I, I just think that that African influence is just utterly breathtaking. I like the fact that even the accessories have that sort of artisanal look to them. Of course, if it's from RH, it's gonna be huge, but you know, you may not need nine of those bowls. You may just need one. You just need one thing to fill your space. We've got polished calcite. Wow, beautiful light wood. Homage to Africa. You guys, I'm literally experiencing this with you. I am not making this up. I mean, this makes me so happy I could just cry. Yes, thank you. This is amazing. Wow, 
This is so cool. It's an acacia vessel by ceramicist Dina Nur Sati, inspired by the wabi sabi branches of the acacia tree, a fixture of Africa's landscape. Now I know why I like that. Why well, I really want that vase. Okay, oh, I want the whole collection. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty, isn't it? I mean, the rooms in these are huge. I mean, I don't even have them. A space big enough for this many chairs in my own house so I do think sometimes you have to almost take the look and redo it to where it will fit in your own home but if you have a house big enough for all these pieces I'm just gonna recommend to you that you go and do it we've got the Vittorio sofa yet again they've just packed out that room with the sofa I don't still, I just don't like the symmetry of two cabinets like that myself, but let me know down in the comments what you guys like. We're just clipping through this because I'm gonna run out of time because I'm like giddy over this. I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is amazing. The modular collection, that is nice that you can have a modular collection because then you can change up the layout if you get tired of it, that is pretty cool. The bed for that set is, I think I'm gonna have to go back through this again, and I think you should too. Go back through it again and explore and try to pick out what your favorite items are. I, I, I dare you to try to choose. <laughs> We've got the cast crystal, which is again, just lots of brass. I think that's really interesting. We're not seeing much else besides brass. You've got the clay, you've got the iron, you've got velvets and cottons and linens and wood. It's this, this very natural look, which is what we've been talking about. We've been talking about rustic luxury for a while and how this was not going away. This is gonna be a style that we see defining this upcoming generation. It's gonna be here for a long time. So trends might last 10, 20, 30 years. Just because something is a trend doesn't mean it's gonna be here for a week, especially in home furnishings. I personally love the Breton bed, the four poster. Again, four posters, we talked about that being another trend. I just don't like the pictures above it. I just feel like the whole thing's a little bit too decorated feeling, but I would definitely use those pieces in a different way. I love the way they've got these beds fixed. I guess they've given us even a new bed, wow, that's crazy. Uh, then we've got the Breton and Blonde Oak. Again, just so many brown tones. It's beautiful, wow, and there's so much brass. I think it's really interesting. They're really just not giving us anything else, are they? That's interesting. So yeah, I think it's glamorous and it feels really raw and wow, we're moving on to the art. The art is, they're partnering with artists around the world. How cool is that. I love this. I absolutely love this. I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. And now I'm dying to go see the gallery. Oh, it came to an end. I didn't want it to stop. It was so good. Okay. So I'm going to sit here with my coffee and I'm going to go back through it. And um, yeah, I'll probably look at it on my computer again later because now I'm freaking out and I'm going to be checking availability on these items. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled. It's just another source for us as designers to be able to find pieces that we really want. And that's something I've been struggling with so much. I don't talk a lot of times about those kinds of struggles on the channel, but they're actually quite real when I have an idea of what I want and I can't find it. I can't find somebody that's made it. And so this gives me a lot of hope. I'm really excited about the possibilities and that's what's so fun about it. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. Uh, I, it, I'd call it Vika, but I didn't bring a treat. I'm like, yeah, I, I forgot. Maybe I'll have some of my pretzels, which is my, <laughs> that's my normal treat. Actually, I still have some of the little balls that we got from our home goods haul. If you did not see the home goods haul, you need to go watch it to know what I'm talking about with the balls. <laughs> I may go grab a couple of those and sit here and look through my phone and enjoy this a little bit more because I'm blown away and I'm so excited. And uh, make sure you hit subscribe because we're gonna try to maybe even see if it's possible to get out there. I need to find out how much they have in the showroom and what's involved. And we're also gonna be heading to Copenhagen and I can tell you right now, we're gonna be going to that showroom if it's open and everything's, you know, goes as it should. Our plan is to go and visit that showroom of Gooby, which inspired that collection. And so, so many of the things that you see that go into this, this collection with RH and so many other American brands, it comes from Scandinavian design and they put a little twist on it. They make it American, that scales different. It's, 
I think it's really fun to also go back to the source so that we can decide how we want to translate it. So we are going to be heading to Copenhagen very soon. There may be a small break in content. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get edited before I leave town. I can't believe I'm leaving town soon, but yes, subscribe and give the video a big thumbs up and uh, yeah, stay tuned because we've got some really exciting stuff coming and I cannot wait to share all of it with you. I can't wait. So, okay. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.